For Ukraine's forces, staying connected is a matter of survival. Since the start of the war, Elon Musk's Starlink satellite network has provided a crucial communication link, ensuring that Ukraine's military and government remain operational even when traditional infrastructure is disrupted by Russian strikes. Starlink has played a key role in coordinating artillery strikes, guiding drones, and relaying battlefield intelligence, giving Ukraine a significant advantage in modern warfare. Russia, however, has been searching for ways to counter this advantage. Its electronic warfare efforts have already included jamming GPS signals and disrupting enemy radars. Now, reports suggest that Russia has developed a system specifically designed to detect and potentially disrupt Starlink communications. This new electronic warfare platform, called Kalinka, is reportedly undergoing combat testing. If it proves effective, it could present a serious challenge to Ukraine's battlefield connectivity and force the country to rethink its reliance on Starlink. So, how does Kalinka work? And how much of a threat does it pose to Ukraine's ability to stay connected? Russia's Kalinka system was developed by the Center for Unmanned Systems and Technologies, an entity established by the Russian Ministry of Defense. Designed to track signals from Starlink terminals, Kalinka functions as a signal detection and localization system rather than a traditional electronic warfare tool focused on jamming or disrupting communications. According to the center, the system can identify Starlink-connected devices within a 15-kilometer range potentially allowing Russian forces to pinpoint the locations of Ukrainian military units, command centers, and drones that rely on the satellite network. The system's small size and adaptability make it particularly concerning. Reports suggest that Kalinka can be mounted on drones, boats, helicopters, or even jet skis, enabling Russian forces to scan for signals in various operational environments. If effective, Kalinka could be used to identify Ukrainian positions and launch precision strikes against them. While this would not directly disrupt Starlink, it could make using the system far more dangerous in frontline areas. Since the war began, Ukraine has relied heavily on Starlink to keep its military and government communications online. The satellite network has played a crucial role in modernizing Ukraine's battlefield operations ensuring that troops can receive real-time intelligence, coordinate movements, and operate unmanned aerial systems effectively. Without Starlink, Ukraine would have far fewer options for reliable battlefield connectivity. Starlink has been particularly valuable in drone warfare, where high-speed, low-latency internet connections allow operators to control UAVs remotely, stream live video feeds, and adjust attack strategies in real time. It has also helped Ukrainian forces coordinate artillery strikes by providing instant location data, allowing for faster and more precise targeting. Additionally, Starlink has provided encrypted communication channels, making it harder for Russian forces to intercept military conversations compared to traditional radio or cellular networks. Given Starlink's importance, Russia has tried multiple methods to counter it, including electronic jamming and cyber operations. Kalinka appears to be the latest tool in this ongoing battle for digital supremacy. However, its effectiveness remains uncertain. The key question is whether Kalinka can do more than just detect signals. If the system is only capable of identifying Starlink locations, its impact will largely depend on how effectively Russian forces can act on that intelligence. In theory, Kalinka could be used to target artillery strikes, drone attacks, or missile strikes against Ukrainian positions using Starlink terminals. But this assumes Russian forces can respond quickly enough before Ukrainian units relocate. Another factor is Ukraine's ability to adapt. Ukrainian forces have already implemented countermeasures to limit their electronic footprint. These include turning Starlink terminals on and off only when necessary, frequently changing their locations, and using physical shielding techniques to block signal emissions from being detected. If Kalinka proves to be a serious threat, 
Ukraine will likely refine these tactics further, making it harder for Russian forces to track their communication nodes. Additionally, Kalinka's actual deployment and scalability will determine its impact. If the system is deployed in small numbers or requires manual operation to scan for signals, its effectiveness could be limited to localized areas rather than a battlefield-wide disruption. However, if Russia can integrate Kalinka into aerial or satellite-based platforms, it could enable broader surveillance and increase its ability to detect Starlink signals across larger operational zones. Kalinka is part of Russia's broader electronic warfare efforts aimed at neutralizing Ukraine's technological edge. Over the course of the war, Russia has deployed various electronic warfare systems, including the Krasuka-4, which disrupts enemy radar and communication signals, and GPS jammers, which attempt to interfere with Ukrainian and Western missile guidance systems. The development of Kalinka suggests that Russia is prioritizing electronic warfare as a key strategy, particularly as it struggles with battlefield losses and seeks new ways to counter Ukraine's Western-supplied technology. Electronic warfare, however, is a constant arms race. As soon as one side develops a new method of disruption, the other side works to counter it. Kalinka may pose a challenge, but Ukraine and its Western allies have advanced electronic countermeasures that could reduce its effectiveness. The effectiveness of Kalinka will likely depend on how Ukraine and its allies respond. If Starlink transmissions become harder to track, or if additional security measures are implemented, Kalinka's advantage could be significantly reduced. Likewise, if Russia struggles to scale up its deployment or integrate it into broader warfare strategies, its impact may remain limited. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.